What's going on guys, Corey from Phone Arena here, and today we're unboxing the ASUS Zenfone AR. Now, ASUS has kind of made a name for themselves with these niche and kind of quirky phones, but the ASUS Zenfone AR may be one of their least quirky of their quirky phones since AR and VR are such burgeoning categories. So, without further ado, let's take a look. All right, so got a little screen protector in here first. Glass screen protector, pretty nice touch. And the phone right here. Let's pop this baby out. Take a look at all that later. Let's open this up. And you have this kind of faux leather kind of backing on here. Looks pretty nice though, and it feels pretty nice. Pretty thin, considering all that's in here, which will go over in a little bit, but you have your antenna stripes here, microphone, volume, power, USB-C, headphone jack, thank you, and SIM slash micro SD tray, and of course, here we have the marquee feature of the AR Zenfone, this kind of tri-camera setup. So you have a 23 megapixel camera here, as well as a motion sensing camera up top and a depth sensing camera here. So that all, you know, triangulates to create the AR and well, mostly the AR effects that you're gonna see in our more in-depth review of this. Obviously uses Tango's software to achieve that sort of thing, but this is the first phone with AR and VR. So Daydream is built in as well. But you have three LED flashes here, so it's a pretty serious camera with a lot of shooting modes, which we'll definitely be getting into in our review. All right, let's boot this up and set it aside. See what's in the box here. All right, pretty, pretty classy little earbuds looks like we got here. Got the charger. And let's take a look at these earbuds. Pretty nice looking little earbuds here. Kind of interested how they sound. Asus has always been pretty aware of their aesthetic and looks like they bundled some nice looking earphones with this too. And welcome, here we are. All right, so let's get this set up and we'll be right back. All right, and we're back. So I will say, even just in setting it up, it uh, seems like a pretty snappy device already. Um, everything went through pretty quick, but you'll see that for yourself soon enough. Um, so it's downloading a bunch of apps in the background here, but as you can see, Asus is Zen UI here at work. Um, you know, you'll definitely get to see more of this in the review. Definitely want to focus more on the hardware here, but you know, just a quick look at the UI and everything. But let's talk hardware. Um, so as you can see, that's a fingerprint sensor right there, haptic buttons and everything, um, haptic feedback there. And uh, let's kind of get back to uh, these cameras really quick. So like I said, they're 23 mega, it's a 23 megapixel camera right here. And uh, that's gonna obviously give you some pretty nice photos. Uh, there's a lot of actually, um, different things that you're gonna be able to do with this, including, uh, let's see, you can shoot raw photo, you can do a lot of depth of field and a lot of different things on here that are going to set this camera apart aside from just the VR, AR aspect. But they've definitely packed in a lot for this 23 megapixel camera. And uh, not sure at this point how much it uses the other cameras in these. In depth of field it must, but, uh, We'll definitely be diving deeper into that. But even with this kind of block of photography and videography in the back, it's still a pretty nice looking phone. So I really can't complain looks wise either right now. So looking pretty good. So you have a 2560 by 1440 Super AMOLED screen here. Um, that's in a 16 by nine ratio. Uh, you also have a Snapdragon 821 running this. If you remember, this was actually launched or uh, at least announced back in uh, 
in January. So it does have a little bit of a later processor, but you know, it's the same processor that runs the Google Pixel, so I don't think we'll have any trouble here. Um, of course, you know, everybody wants the 835 for its machine learning, AI, and VR capabilities, but um, from what we've seen in the showcase and in our hands-ons previously, it doesn't look like it's making a huge difference, but of course, we'll see for sure in the full review of this. Uh, in terms of configurations, Verizon has an exclusive model, uh, which is 6 gigs 128. Otherwise, you have two other configurations, uh, which is the 6 gigs 64 gig, sorry, 6 gigs 64 gigs of storage, and 8 gigs with 128 gigs of storage. Um, those you can get unlocked, but the Verizon exclusive is the only one with 6 gigs and 128. Yeah, 650 at Verizon, 599 for just the 6 gig 64 gig unlocked, and 699 for the 8 gig unlocked 128 so uh, there's gonna be a lot to really dive into on this device uh, like I said there's just a ton of camera features that they packed in for this and uh, we're really excited to dive in so that about does it for the unboxing though make sure to stay tuned for our full review I'm Corey Gaskin thanks for watching and stay tuned for our upcoming review on the Zenfone AR